Hello crafters, so today I want to create a paper flower out of this kind of tissue paper that is that has texture which the advantage of this is really that you can stretch it out much nicer versus the regular uh, paper. Uh, I found this at a paper store, I'm sure they have tons of these at your local paper store. They are not as cheap as, you know, just regular paper because it's very specific, but I believe the results of this will be amazing. So for me, I only have two colors and uh, actually the paper is two-sided, so the color is different on the inside versus on the outside, and they're slightly different over here too. Uh, it doesn't matter, it can be one color. For me, I'm gonna do the inside in this lighter color and the outside in a darker color. And of course, green is for the leaves. You will also need scissors, a piece of cardboard for the base and glue gun. Let's begin. So to be honest, I don't really have a solid template for this, so I'm gonna eyeball everything. So I have my piece of paper. I think this is about, you know, a meter maybe a bit under a meter and I'm gonna just keep folding it in half folding it one more time in half so that I will what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cut it into threes three equal in height pieces uh, currently my height is three and a half inches and now with each of the pieces, what I'm gonna do is starting, this is the edge because that's where it ends. I'm gonna create almost like a heart shape. Like so. So this is where all of them are folded so that when we unfold, it looks like this, almost like a unfinished heart. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other two. Okay, so this is the center of the rose. What I'm gonna do now with each of the uh, petals, by the way, separate them all like this. So what I'm gonna do with each of them is I'm actually gonna go on top make it feather it out a little bit so that it looks more like a petal like so so let's repeat this for all of them so here I have all of my centers feathered out and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna still remember roughly where the center is and I'm gonna go glue all of these guys on top of each other in the center like so right And repeat for all of them so here it is as you can see it's already starting to look sort of like a inside of a flower especially if we do something like this yes so now let's talk about the base I already created a very simple circle out of the cardboard diameter of this is four four and three quarters of an inch and now what I want to do is about an inch cut into it, create, I don't know, maybe like eight of these cuts. And now start folding this inside. So what we're trying to create is this base. I'm gonna now glue gun all of this that would fit the center pretty well. I think this fits pretty great. Okay, now I'm gonna just glue gun this so that it's almost like a container for the center. 
So here is the cardboard center that I just glued, glue gunned. Um, pretty, pretty simple, nothing really fancy. Okay, so now let's take our center that we just created, wrap it a little bit over here, start kind of wrapping it inward, this side. Occasionally you can wrap it like so, so that there's more thickness. But the point is that this side wraps in here, like to the right, and this side, the, uh, the other side, wraps towards the left, creating kind of like a circle. But to be honest, I feel that any way you fold, it will look really amazing. Because regardless, it, it already starts to look like a center of the, of the flower. Okay, so hold this with one hand and the other hand, of course, your wonderful glue gun. Lots and lots of glue in here. On the bottom. Stick it in there and wait a few minutes for it to set. Uh, now let's put this away. We don't need this at this point. Uh, take our paper for the big petals. And you know, I'm just gonna do the same petal, same size petal, over and over again. So I'm gonna fold this in half, fold this in half. Fold this, let's see. And we don't need the petals to be so long, so I'm gonna cut this in half. So that, oof, that was bad cutting. Um, so that each of the petals, when it's a square, will be one inch, sorry, uh, three and three quarters of an inch width and height of the petal will be five inches. But what I'm gonna do now is cut out a petal. Okay, so this is what I want you to do with your petals. Take the petal, um, because this is a very stretchy paper, stretch it in the center. This is what I absolutely love about this paper. It creates this gorgeous, gorgeous petal-like feel because now the center is stretched. Over here you can create a little bit of stretching too, not too much, just so that it looks more natural. You can even test it out on the flower. Yeah, I think this is pretty great. So now that we have this lovely Petal. Let's do the same exact thing with the stretching for all of the rest of the petals that we just cut. So here we have all of the petals. They are nicely bended. So I have red inside and pink outside. If your both sides are either red or pink, it, it doesn't really matter. It, it will it will look amazing. Uh, because my center is more of a pink, I want the pink to be outside as that's what mainly you're going to see. So I'm gonna start gluing uh, the petal, the bottom of the petal, to the base and then with each petal. So let me just glue this one first. I am gonna glue it to the very, very base of the petal because now that I look at it, my my petals are pretty long, these ones are pretty long, so I actually want them to be slightly shorter. But it's okay, just glue them at the bottom. And then the next petal, we're gonna take the next petal, put some, put some glue on there. We are just gonna overlap. How do I show this? We are 
going to overlap our petal on top of the petal so that of course it looks more natural. And now we're going to continue this overlapping technique up until our petals end really. Okay, so here's the flower. This is the bottom over here. Uh, what I want to do now is feather the big petals so that the flower gets a little bit fluffier. And here is the final flower all feathered up. Love this, love this, love this. I think it looks amazing. Now we're just going to create a couple of green leaves. For that, take the green paper. I'm just going to do it one by one. So. Cut out a nice leaf. What is this? This is six inches. Perfect, it will be visible. Same thing, I want to kind of do this over here so that it's wider. And over here at the very top, I want to kind of almost like twist it. And a little bit on the sides over here. So here is the final piece. You can see I have the leaves, very nice. I only decided to just do three. So thank you so much for watching. This is the final result. I hope you had fun doing this. And let me know how yours turns out. And please follow me and uh, watch more of my videos. Thank you. Bye.